Welcome to Miller's Monsters and this is Cryptids and I want to tell you today about a very strange creature and it is the fur bearing trout or the furry trout and um, it was native it's said to be native to the northern regions of North America um, Canada particularly Canada Montana Wyoming Colorado and the Great Lakes and uh, the basic claim on how this creature came about was is that the waters in these areas are so cold that uh, the species of trout needed to grow hair or a thick coat of fur to maintain its body heat. Another theory was that uh, somewhere in Arkansas <laughs> some people uh, uh, for, uh, spilled four jugs of hair tonic okay, into the Arkansas River. So that's another theory how this came about. Um, and, uh, okay, you got me. All right, if you don't already know, this one is fake. What is thought to have had happened was is that some Scottish immigrants wrote home and said, oh my God, the furry animals and fish are so abundant here in America. Um, and, um, Obviously, they misunderstood this letter and uh, uh, said, hey, send me some of these furry fish. And uh, that's how it could be one way that uh, this came about. A more likely scenario is there's a, uh, a uh, cotton mold, okay, and it's called Saprolegenia. And uh, sometimes it'll affect fish. And uh, it causes tufts of fur-like uh, growth to appear on the fish. And from time to time, these fish will perish, obviously, from the uh, mold and float ashore. So whether it was a misunderstanding in the letter or this cotton mold, no, there's no truth to the furry trout cryptid.